Jung Tung Thuan, I suppose one of our best known and most famous club members. John, I think, is the only club member that have actually won the Super League back in 1989. And who were you sitting with then? Um, I was sitting with an English driver, the owner of Ears Motorsport, a very famous man called Mike Patterson, and we competed in the Darien T9. And how many years were you I did one season with, with Mike, that was 1989. We also did, a, uh, we won it here, we came sixth in Donegal International, uh, which was the first international uh, placing for a Darien in the world. That was a Darien. one of the first Darien's club, was it? it? Well, it, it was the Darien T90, there was a T9 before that, you know. And then we did the lakes as well. I think we were six or seven in the lakes, and you know, so it was good. I had done it in eighty eight. No, that was eighty seven with John Price in the Renault Five Turbo, which was uh, that was the fastest car I had been in to that point, and it was it was an eye opener. I can tell you, going over the Connor Pass in a Renault Five Turbo, oh my God, um, it was unbelievable. But prior to that, I think I had the circuit done. Oh, I don't know, seven or eight times in a variety of cars. Did you have sat in with Finton Foley and other... Yeah, did, did with Finton several times. I did it with uh, Brendan Savage in, in a Mark One Escort. Um, and after that, in the 90s then, I did it three or four times with Ken Lines in a variety of cars, Escorts, uh, Cosworths, and four wheel drive cars. And of course, you have won like navigation rallies as well. You were famous for the <laughs> I was well, with John. If you were behind him, he'd pass out. I don't know what it's like, God, I'm ahead of him, but he knew there was four gates in the road, so he let you in first to open the gates. Mm. Mm. Uh, I have no comment whatsoever to me. <laughs> uh, the other one, of course, was to deliberately overshoot, and then uh, the person behind would go in the first gate, whereas, in fact, the second gate was the one to go in, you know. And um, I would have been known to carry a chain and a lock to throw around the gate to make sure another person behind you couldn't get in. <laughs> so there was all those tricks in the tree. Yeah, but, but navigation events, I mean... Of all the events I did, and there were several hundred um, navigation events, were by far my favourite. You know, it was a real test of co-driver and driver and car. Um, stage events are great fun, but the navigation events. I mean, they started in midnight, went on till seven or eight o'clock in the morning, over several hundred miles, non-stop. They were lunatic things, really, but great fun. Yeah. Across the Grand National Championship, they did, yeah. 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 One of which Finton and myself won, uh, 87, I think, a uh, national championship around, and they came, all the top guys in the country came down. And that was um, a good one because you had special, people, oh, special oh, 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 these, these people had, I mean, full prepared rally cars. They also had, we found out afterwards, they had um, crews going out wrecking. We didn't know about that, of course, but they had, when they were plotting the maps, they would send people out to have a look, um, and then along the way they gave them, you know, little pointers on what to look for here and what to look for there. It was a horrible night, um, this particular one, 87, um, misty, foggy night. The horizon that we were in was misfiring all night, which was just as well because had we been going too fast, we, you know, could have overshot yes. things. Yes. <laughs> but and no one was more surprised at the end to find that we had actually beaten all the rest of them, you know, and um, a, a lot of um, sour faces to think we were alone. And a couple of little rumours that uh, local knowledge, but your navigation events you had no idea until you were given the until you were given the plot about an hour and a half before the event started. You had no idea. Um, although I must admit there were a couple of places I was almost on notes <laughs> when it almost when it passed my own house, you know, sort of turned up a so and farm and turned down right in the third gate. Um, but other than that, a lot of it, it, it finished up in um, Montings, was it Montings? Right. Up, up in um, up in Tarbert. So I mean, I wouldn't know that territory at all. You know. Oh, it's great to see you. And, and, you, and you, Mike, and, and, and best of luck with the new car. Thank you. As I say, at another moment in time, I'll be queuing up looking for a seat. You know, but uh, but uh, you, you, you don't need you don't need all those pensioners inside of the car. We're, yeah, we're only a dead weight. I'm really looking forward to seeing you be down in Hall. I, I will come down for the events. Yeah, I certainly will. And it's even it's always just a cast to John to stay and give out about things. You know. Crankiness comes with all age. <laughs> 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 I do my best of luck. Thanks again.